Here we have a function table and it says that this table follows a certain rule. All it's saying is the function table uses an equation and every row is following the same exact rule. We want to know well, what's that rule and what are these two values right here? What should they be? So to do that, you want to try and figure out um, the relationship between our two variables, x and y. And at first I was thrown off because these increments on x, we go from a half to one, so we go up a half, and then we go up one, and then we go up two, and then we go back up one, and then we go up five. So this is not increasing by a steady rate. They're not giving us all the values we need. I want to figure out what's going to happen every time I increase x by one, what's going to happen to y. That helps me think about it. So I'm going to look at it from one to two. So I notice that when I have one, my answer for y is one. So I'm, I'm using an x value of 1 and somehow getting, with some mystery equation, 1. And if I use 2 for x, I somehow get 0.5 for y. I'm using some equation to get that. If I use 4, I'm going to leave, we don't have 3. If I use 4, I'm going to get 0.25 and so forth. And the only other piece I haven't put in here, but I will, is 0.5. If I put 0.5 in there, I get 2. So let's just move this up. Oops. Let's put 0.5 uh, up here. So I'm going to erase this top part. I want 0.5 to fit into my table. So 0.5, if I put that into the equ equation, whatever function we're using, I'm going to get 2. So how are these two related? Well, what I might notice and try to think about when they give me decimals is also write them as fractions. So 0.5 is 1 half, and 0.25 is 1 over 4. And, well, 2 as a fraction is, can also be thought of as 1 over 0.5, or 1 over 1 half. And that's because 1 over 1 half means how many 1 halves are in 1, and the answer is 2. So once I set that up, I might be able to see the pattern. Here we have a 2, there we have a 2, here we have a 4, and there we get a 4 in the bottom. So I'm thinking if I plug 4 into this equation, I get 1 over 4. If I plug 2 into this equation, I get 1 over 2. And it works for 1 as well, because they wrote 1, but that's really just 1 over 1. So if I plug 1 into this mystery equation, I get 1 over 1. Then if I plug a half into this equation, I get 1 over a half, or 2. Again, 1 over a half is just 1 divided by 1 half. That asks you how many 1 halves are in 2, and the answer is 2 to that. So I'm thinking that my equation, to get my y, I take my x and put 1 over x. So if I have 4, for example, I put it becomes 1 over 4. If I have 2 for my x, it becomes 1 over 2. And I think this is going to be my equation for this table. So if I have 5, I get 1 over 5, 1 fifth, or 0.2. And if I have 10, so, sorry, 1 over 5 is um, 0.2. I can figure that out by doing long division. 1 divided by 5, um, 5 goes into 1 0.2 times, so it's 0.2. Or you can think of it out of 100, 1 fifth is uh, out of 100, multiply the 5 by 20, get 100, multiply the 1 by 20, get 20, it's just like 20 over 100, or 0.2. And 10 would be 1 over 10, or 0.1. And so now I've completed the values in my table and they ask us actually to write a function rule that represents the relationship between x and y. A function rule is an equation that relates y and x. So I would write y equals 1 over x.